Maths Pathway is both an organization and the learning and teaching model that we built over the last five years. We have approximately 52,000 students learning in this new way. Our dream is that every one of those kids not only appreciates mathematics, but understands its value, sees that as a part of their identity as a human being, and can use that to contribute to the improvement of our world on a global scale across the next 100 years. The problems that we solve at Maths Pathway are not new problems. You know, the concept of teaching what a kid is ready to learn is as old, frankly, as teaching itself. The biggest challenge of being a teacher is catering for the different learning needs that we have within our classroom. Learning maths is like building a pyramid because if you have gaps, it's not going to be very structurally sound. If you miss the first part of it, then you're never going into the hard stuff. You try and teach them all the grade three stuff when they're in grade three, and then you move them into grade four, and you try and teach them all the grade four stuff. It's so easy to fall off that wagon and almost impossible to hop back on again. It was a necessary prerequisite to meet students where they're at. But what we do is not to create some brand new idea about how you should teach, but to make all of that practical. In order to work out where the students are at, they do start off with a diagnostic test. If the module that you're working on is too easy, you can click this is too easy, it'll give you a harder one. This then at the end of the two weeks would lead to a test that was individualised towards students. I also use the information and data from Maths Pathways. I look at which mini lesson I can run that's going to meet the needs of the greatest number of students in my class at that time. They're always fun activities. What you need is a learning and teaching model. You need all the supports that go with that. Yes, resources and tools and technology are part of that, but so is professional development and so is change management and implementation science you're given so much more guidance, really great strategies to make your classroom run in a really efficient and effective way. It meets the curriculum requirements that we need it to. But teachers are happy to change to a better way of doing things. It's simply about using all the tools that are available to us in this day and age to make sure that we can get the best education to students. But sometimes there's nothing better than a couple of blocks. We'll use that where that makes more sense and also focusing students around their achievement in terms of growth rather than current attainment level. If you have a growth mindset you can say I will give it a try because I never know what I can do and what I can learn. The student and teacher relationship is at the centre of what we do and all of that administrative stuff and the routine stuff it's there but to a much lesser extent it's in the background where it belongs. But what those teachers tell us is that the work that they're doing has so much more value now. When they finally put all the puzzle pieces together, the excitement and that, miss, I got it, come look at this, like, come and see. I mean, how much better is it to take your kids through a really deep understanding, a really clear investigation of a problem in mathematics, to watch those aha moments again and again, than to sit around and mark a bunch of tests and photocopy a bunch of worksheets. Students are engaged in their learning, they're motivated to learn, they're driven to learn. My math teacher told me if I keep up this rate, then I can learn two and a half years of maths in the one year. On average, those students were learning before Maths Pathway at about 0.6 years worth of learning per year. With Maths Pathway, they've more than doubled that, and they're now learning at 1.25 years worth of learning per year. You know, I would describe our secret source as being the fact that we actually care whether the students are learning properly. And as soon as you care about that, you have to care about what goes on in the classroom. The ability for them to switch their brains on and think deeply about what they're learning. This isn't just limited to maths class. This is going to have a radical impact on their future education and their employment opportunities. It's about building the capacity to work like a mathematician. Really being able to think slowly and deeply about problems, being able to solve non-routine things, being able to collaborate, being able to think outside the box, really switch your brain on. That sense of purpose, that sense of belief, that sense of kind of ultimate possibility really exists in those kids like nowhere else in the world.